disclaimer this video is not about my hair which is like in need of a wash day it's been to the gym we're not talking about that nor is it about my makeup or my breaking out skin we're just focusing on what we're here for okay so just if it offends you lean back squint a little bit you know so you don't see it's a bit too HD, you get me? So. I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. Hello, everyone, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I've actually realised that I no longer go, eh. Uh, I don't know, is it like done? Do you guys still like it? Like, do you sing along? Because if you don't sing along, then what's the point, you know? This is more of a chit chat video. Sorry, my diaries doing bits so this is more of a chit chat kind of video so grab your tea I've got green tea and if you put sugar or honey in green tea I mean I get the honey if you put sugar in green tea unsubscribe <laughs> so in this video we're going to talk about my I'm going to call it my thick fit journey this is going to be a new series on the channel we're going fit but we're making it thick you get me because first of all don't get me wrong, I love a skinny legend, but I just feel like it can never be me. Do you know what I mean? Like, it sounds nice in theory, but I could never be a skinny legend. I'm thick. We thickums. We got the thickum gene. Okay. Part of me um, doing this video is also for accountability. Like, I want, because before nobody knew I was just working in silence. You get me? You guys start noticing, like, oh, she's coming a bit skinny still. Her head is getting big though. Still, you get me? So, I want to talk about how I lost 15 to 20 pounds. I'm saying 15, oh gosh, what's going on? I'm saying 15 to 20 pounds because, first of all, it sounds better than putting it in kilos. It sounds like more. <laughs> and also because I fluctuate. So right now, this is gonna be TMI. And if you're offended, like grow up, okay? Right now I'm on my period and I'm bloated. So I'm heavier than I usually am. I'm carrying more water weight. Um, also, not gonna lie, I'm not really trying to focus on the numbers, but I feel like it just happens as well at the same time. You do start training, eating healthy and stuff, you end up losing weight, and people are interested in that. But I just want you to think about everything else, not just the numbers. Are we recording? Yes, we are. So I'm just gonna sip my tea. That's burnt my tongue. I'm not used to filming clearly because my eyes be hurting me now. I even look a little bit more like melanin now. Oh, I like that. Mm, I like me a bit of that. Yeah, I had to dim me up because I couldn't see. I'm basically going to talk about, not from the very beginning, when people start saying, well, when I was a baby, when I was out of my mother's womb, I was this much cagey. No, it's not that deep. I'm going to talk about when it hit, when shit hit the fan. <laughs> so basically, as you guys know, which I get, I still get questions about every single day. I went to China for a year, my gap year, right? That was the best and worst thing that could have happened to me. Thank you, Mayfair, for, um... <laughs> telling me to go to China. When I went, I had goals. I was like, I'm gonna lose weight, come back a skinny legend, bitch, gonna be skinty, okay? I'm gonna um, read more. Oh, my other, oh, I'm gonna get 20K on YouTube. Hey, guys, where are you? Yeah, to be fair, when I left, we were on like 1K, so 10K is good too. What else did I say? I had a lot of goals. They were just not realistic. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I didn't know what I was signing up for, okay? It was a lot, but I did it. You know, I'm here, I'm alive, I'm standing. However, China plus uni was a bad combination. When I first went, I lost a lot of weight. You can see it in my face. I became like a floating head because I wasn't eating anything. It wasn't the fact that I was eating healthy food. It was the fact that I wasn't eating anything because I didn't like anything. Like, it's not like Chinese food, yeah? It's just different, you get me? Like, it's not our kind of Chinese food, it's their Chinese, it's real Chinese food. So it was a, it was a big change. So I'm a picky eater, okay? So I wasn't really eating that much, so I lost a lot of weight. So by the time I came back and surprised my friends that, oh, I'm home, whatever, I had lost some weight and I was feeling Actually, by then I feel like I started to gain it back. But anyway, I was I was still looking like me, right? When I came back now, I started to learn more Chinese and I started to know things that I like to eat. But in China, everything is everything I had most of the time was like um, fried, like what in a wok, you know? It's quick food, and I didn't make it, so I didn't really have a choice half the time unless I'm gonna cook at home. But like, 
it was long because I had to travel to school. It was a lot. Yeah, it was just a lot. I, I wasn't in control of my diet and I feel like I don't know how Chinese people are skinny because they eat a lot of oil and like pork and basically since China, I've stopped eating pork. That's how much pork I I, I hate and I can't, no. China made me gain a lot of weight. I was like the hair, I was tipping the scales from. I didn't eat, I don't even know how much I weighed but I could see the picture because as soon as I got back from China, we had a photo shoot and I look, I felt uncomfortable because I didn't feel like I've always been heavier but that was like and by the way just a disclaimer me saying I want to lose weight and be thick fit whatever doesn't mean that you should also feel the same way like people pop up to me like oh you're curvy I'm curvy too girl just if I jump off a cliff are you gonna jump too that's what I thought yeah what I'm saying is don't feel that because someone wants to change their life you need to change your life too or because someone does this like just do what makes you comfortable oh okay i was confident as a thickums yeah but i feel like my confident my confidence would just skyrocket when i become this slim thick when i lose my belly it's over for all of you rest in peace i'm so sorry about it i'm just i'm not saying it's gonna be this summer but i'm saying let me get back to it so this video is not proper long i'm gonna try sipping my tea one more time if it's still hot this is why I don't like these things. China, I was heavy. Then I went to uni and, okay, one thing about uni, yeah, all the quick, cheap foods are horrible for you. Like, they make you tired. They make you, um like, sleepy, like, and that's what we're eating. Pizza, pasta. We would cook together and stuff. We made burgers. Apple crumble was the one in first year. Delectable. Okay, we ate a lot of food um it wasn't healthy at all it was just cheap and chirpy and yeah when when Verizon would have popcorn and popcorn isn't that bad but sweet popcorn though okay like do you know what I mean so it was a combination of coming back from China and already being hefty <laughs> and then coming to uni and not changing my habits like in fact probably making them slightly worse because I had control over what I was making sometimes I'd make healthy stuff but most of the time i'll be with my friends living on campus i was always with my friends so we would always just eat bad food you know when you're with your friends you just make silly choices yeah that's what we did i traveled in summer and i felt like when i was in zambia i lost some weight because i don't know why i think i'd gain it because all the food i've eaten but it's healthier food right people were cooking for me you know can someone cook for me i feel like this is the common denominator oh no actually in china they didn't can someone healthy cook for me <laughs> Yeah, so I lost some weight, but then we went to Miami. Now, Miami is not the heaviest I've ever been. China's the heaviest I've ever been, I think, that I can remember. Miami now, y'all eat good. You guys, Cheesecake Factory, Panda Box, what's that, Box Panda, whatever it's called, pizza, fries, turkey, bacon, everything, your bread, American bread is sweet, okay? Your almond milk is a milkshake, it's sweet. Um, we ate a lot of junk, so when I came back, oh, one day me, um, Brianne decided to work out, she kind of motivated me, I was like, okay, let me go to the gym. At the gym there was a scale and I weighed myself and it said 173 pound, now 78 kilos something like that i was just like wow a whole me a small i'm five foot two so that's like a lot for my frame but i was like excuse me i know for a fact that i've never been that heavy this girl is wrong it's wrong so i decided when i got back to uni that i was gonna change my ways because i felt uncomfortable like i didn't like the pictures weren't banging i just felt like i was overcritical of myself like the pictures i was very selective what pictures i was posting like i'd be like should i post it Faye, are you sure are you sure i should post it like, i wasn't comfortable in myself and i'm a confident person but even confident people have insecurities so okay so i decided that instead of getting surgery did pop up in my mind like when i was in South Africa, i remember telling my friend chanda that um, I want to get liposuction. I want them to just suck out the fat, take it out one by one, you know, one lipid at a time. Because I was just like, I don't want to be thick anymore. Because first of all, Chandler's got an amazing body. Like, can we just... Wow. You probably don't have... Have you seen her in my vlogs? No, because I didn't vlog South Africa. But my friend, she's got an amazing body. My friends from Reddit, all of them have amazing bodies. 
they might not think it but i think it so i just thought like oh, i just want to be comfy in my body like i want to see what my body can do and how much i can change after my mommy came back to uni and i moved into this place and i decided i'm gonna get a trainer because i thought i need to be accountable accountability is so important i'm not saying you need a trainer for that maybe you yourself can motivate yourself to go to the gym as much as you need to or, ch or change your eating habits forever but me personally i knew that i needed someone to push me now before i started i already started to change my eating habits so i stopped having um those pizzas pastas whatever i don't even have pasta anymore but like i started to make my own healthy food you know what's funny yeah i have knowledge like a lot of knowledge about what's healthy and what's not but for some reason you just when you when you're at uni you just pick what's easier and what's cheaper i just decided you know what i'm gonna eat right i'm gonna lose some weight so straight away when i came back from miami i lost two kilos so like four pounds four and a four and a half pounds about then i went i started training and my trainer was like do not restrict right so let me tell you something guys I said I don't eat pizza pasta just because I just feel like they make me tired. It's not like a thing of like I crave them and I won't have it. If I'm craving, I'll have it. But I don't really crave pizza and pasta to be fair. But I'm one of those people now. I don't restrict myself. If I want some chocolate, I have chocolate in my room. Like if I want a burger, I'm going to have a burger. But for the most part, I eat. it's like 80-20, right? So 80% of the time I'll be eating clean. 20% of the time except from when I go home because sometimes when I go home my sister bakes her baking is amazing um so when I go home sometimes it's about eight it's about 75 you know 60 40 you get me but the point is I'm trying and so she would tell me the kind of things that I should be eating but I kind of knew this anyway do you know what I mean like she just pushed me to because imagine you're training for a month, you don't make any progress. She feels like a dickhead, you feel like a dickhead because you've not made any progress. So, yeah, so I didn't train like consistently then. I would only see her twice a week. Um, So we do an upper body day, a lower body day. I was, I was supposed to do cardio twice a week myself, but I only did it one time at the time. So when I raved myself, when I came back from South Africa, I had dropped like a significant amount like my trainer weighed it and it weighed me and the reason why i only weigh, i only try and weigh myself more when i'm like at the gym is because we've got that machine that doesn't just tell you your weight it tells you like how much muscle you've gained how much fat you've lost like it, the machine tracks and creates a graph for you so it's really um helpful <laughs> and it's also got like a, a body score so like how athletic you are right now i'm like 75 out of 100 when i started i think i was like 60 but yeah so after weighing myself i was like okay now i need to get serious so from then it's been what month are we in march three months since i came back from um zambia or south africa i've lost about 11 12 pounds since i came back from holiday right in um December, January times. I'm trying to lose the weight gradually. I'm not in a rush. And my goal initially anyway, when I went to the gym, I told my trainer, I want to lose fat and gain muscle. I don't want to lose weight. So I, my weight could stay the same for all I care, as long as I'm losing fat and gaining muscle. And I want to be strong. And people are starting to tell me now that I'm getting strong. And I'm just like, guys, stop. I've been going to the gym consistently for like, three months but i would say i've been going to the gym since october but that wasn't that consistent but initially you're not comfortable there you don't feel like going even on your own but for len i'm going to the gym five times a week so monday to friday every single day in terms of food i might do like white in the days and come train with me kind of videos i don't know if you guys would be interested um i'm gonna leave a poll I'm not sure which side but i'm gonna leave a poll if you guys vote and let me know because i feel like it'll be interesting to see but i feel like i've made quite a big difference i'm quite proud of myself so i'm going to show you some befores and afters like before and after <laughs> of what i looked like but right now i'm about 155 pounds so from 173 that's a big difference i feel like weight is a really sensitive topic like it really is and like even like disclosing your weight is so taboo it's like oh as a small girl you should only weigh like 60 kilos it's not uh, i don't think i'll ever weigh 60 kilos and look like me like i want to just look strong i want to feel muscle you get me want to have like nice toned 
back my back has gotten really toned like i feel like that's one thing that has changed the most um my bum has gotten plumper my arms are carrying less fat i feel like having a smart watch obviously it's a luxury not a necessity i feel like having a smart watch has really helped me in terms of being aware of how many calories i'm burning because like i could literally sit down in bed all day and not do anything but when i look at my watch i'm like i've only burnt 100 calories today like let me just do something you know what i mean i have a goal every day to burn like 570 calories but sometimes i don't reach it weekends i definitely don't reach that but it's just nice to be aware of how much you're burning because then you'd be like okay i've burnt like a thousand calories today i can eat something that i want like it's not that deep thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry for that long ass break i don't say it's the beginning of my videos anymore because i know you're tired i'm also tired also i haven't drank my tea is it cool now my tea is now cold so it's time to go thank you guys so much for watching um don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to hear something from me i'm gonna move over and let you click on the next video because if you're i know you want to like even if you've watched it before go ahead and just watch it again like it would it would take um just do it you get me but... anyway guys i'll see you in my next one bye